All right, uh, Darcy here again, and I'm down in Skumanak. If you take a look at the uh, amount of ice, this, of course, is one of the hardest hit places by the storm. And it's not hard to tell why. Look at this. You can see these right here. There's power lines down right there all through the trees, all along here. If we drive up, you can see it up to the pole up here. I mean, it's, it's all down into the trees there. Just the uh, sheer amount of ice that is everywhere down here, all on the roads you're driving along. It's like a tunnel of, of just ice and trees that are bent over. It's just really incredible. Uh, I know the power crews have been out working hard. We ran to a few up the road here uh, earlier that were uh, trying to fix a line that was actually down across uh, some water, which was uh, a difficult task, I believe, in and of itself. That's why it's so slow. There's all these different lines that are down. They're trying to get them all. You know, it's just picking away line after line, street after street, road after road. And it's been a very difficult task. Uh, I saw a great sign earlier. It said, uh, thank you, power crews, as we see another line on the ground down here, running to this building over here. Uh, now, interestingly, coming into a Skumanak, you end up driving actually over down lines. They shut the mouth off, obviously, but there's still a few across the road as we uh, pass the memorial here. People will recognize that, of course, Mayor Machine Bay. Uh, and that's why, part of the reason why it was so bad here is not only the amount of ice, but the amount of winds uh, that they get here. If you're here in the summertime, uh, the winds can knock some power lines down, knock power out. So uh, a storm like this that lasted 36 hours and dumped all this ice on it and all this snow, it's uh, really quite something further up the road here you see everything is just taking nice and here we are I'll slow this down here is a uh, another down power line right there and I'm gonna get my big camera out here and get a picture of this just bear with me we'll keep going here I don't want to hold up traffic too much but see here we're driving over uh, the power line uh, this down really really quite a, something else uh, and a lot of these as you can see them and, and now the Sun is starting to melt some of the ice now we're getting ice sort of falling on the road too which is another danger um, so people are being uh, warned to watch out for that as the, as the as the Sun comes out and continues to heat up the ice you'll see some falling ice coming down um, every utility pole every power pole is completely coated in ice these people yard I mean yards that are just nothing but sheets of ice absolutely amazing fences knocked down there it's still as you can expect uh, putting up with some winds that if you look at the bay there the, the caps are there you can see that's not as windy as it might normally be but it's still kicking up a little bit fields of ice along the sides here on the other side uh, see some fishing boats that are coated and snow and ice just trees and branches and bushes coated everywhere street signs here this one to the base and Anna black completely coated and here we see of course these power lines as we're driving across them I just want to go nice and slow across I don't want to be a crazy person getting there and uh, more here of course as you can see down line is just absolutely incredible 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 um, what has gone on here more up here in the ditch uh, and all the way along you can see the power lines that are down so it's just 